is good take your seats in the presence of the lord hallelujah this morning will be brief i'll try to be brief hallelujah god is good and all the time now this morning i want us to pay attention to to what is critical to something that is critical to us manifesting or functioning in the excellent place. See the excellent place. So I will be sharing with you with the topic, the rules of the excellent place. The rules of the excellent place. So even though I'll talk about, or even though the topic is the rules of the excellent place, this morning we will zoom on one of the rules one critical aspect of the rules the excellent place lift your right hand say i live there say i belong to the excellent place now the lord wants us to be at the excellent place where we are not influenced i told you in isaiah 65 verse 17 when he says Behold, I create new heavens and earth, and the former shall not be remembered. Now, we went to verse 1 to draw your attention or to cause you to understand the context of that verse, of that verse, of verse 17. Hallelujah. So, when he says a new heaven and the new earth, is talking about a place that is influenced because every place is influenced. It's only God who is influenced by only God. So we can thank God for God because it is God that made God God. <laughs> is somebody getting me? But we are always influenced. We are influenced. So it says to us that he's establishing us in a place where we are or we will not be influenced by what is contrary to us we must not be influenced by what is contrary to us oh hallelujah now for us not to be influenced or what shows that we are not being influenced by what is contrary to us is that we are living by the rules of our dwelling say my dwelling so there are rules what makes this place potent are the rules right they are the structures we have pillars you know i'm sure they are pillars structure engineers eh, architects i mean you can tell me why is this place a good place to be right yeah maxwell yes as an architect as an engineer you can tell me why is this place potent why is this place good for us to be right so the the advantage we have here are not even the ACs and the things. Maxwell, I, I want I want you to look at me. Yes. I, I want to make sure that my, my illustrations are right. So the advantage we have here is not the TVs. No, no, no. It is the, it's the structure. Are you getting me? Those are the rules that determine this building. Oh, praise the Lord. So where you are or the benefits or the importance of where you and I are, are the rules. The rules. The rules of engagement. The rules. So in Isaiah 65 verse 18, it tells us to rejoice in what he has made. He wants us to rejoice in what he has made. But be glad and rejoice in what I create. In what 
I create. Forever in what I create, another version says so. And behold, I create Jerusalem. Yeah. As a so it says that, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. What I create. What I, he says you need to rejoice. You need to, you need to say, wow, that is wonderful. How will you rejoice? How will you rejoice if you don't know the, the rules of what he has? Because the rules gives you benefits. The rules gives you an advantage. Is somebody getting me? If you are certain that where you are has been well built, you know, the rules, what went into the building is solid. Won't you rejoice? You rejoice every day. But when in your mind, you know that this building is not standing well. When you sit down, no matter the gadget in, your heart will be beating. Are you following me? So, what is critical is the rules of our place. Say the rules of our place. Because we don't engage with the rules of our place, we allow the enemy to have a failed day. Kisito, in his exhortation, was talking about prayer. You see, we need to engage with the rules of our place. Many of us will start engaging with our rules when we are pushed to the wall. You see, when you are pushed to the wall, you know, then you start engaging. Because now you've been put in a tight corner. And when you are put in a tight corner, you need to defend yourself. You use whatever you have or the weapon you have to advance, to live where you are, to defend yourself. Whereas you are supposed to live your life by the rules. Say the rules. Say the rules. Now, Jesus always engaged with the rules of the place where he is. Or the excellent place. In John chapter 8, the Pharisees and the Sadducees brought a woman caught in adultery. And when they, they brought her to them, they expected him to engage with the rules of beneath. The rules of beneath. You see, the law was the root of beneath. The law was the rules for those who are limited. Say limited. Those who are influenced because the law tells you that you will sin. You see, the law tells you that you fall. You will sin. Are you getting me? And you'll be dealt with. The law tells you that you will be uh, you under the influence of principalities. And you'll be dealt with. So the law is to show to you that you are a sinner. That's all. So when they called the woman, they brought the woman to Christ. And he said, according to the law, she must be stoned. She must be stoned. She has to be stoned. Because we knew that, you see, we knew she would fall. That's why we put the law down. So that when she falls, you stone her. It's as simple as that. So hey, let us go. But Jesus engaged with the rules of the excellent place of his dwelling. He engaged with the rules of his excellent place. So, he zoned out. Right? He zoned out. He began to write. Well, I believe he was writing their sins. And he said, well, any one of you have not committed any sin, I'm sure theirs were, were more grievous. You know, some have committed murder. You know, some have committed murder. Some have committed two or three or four. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so he was just penning them down, or should I say, with his finger? I know a pen. Whatever. <laughs> he was what indicating them. <laughs> Hallelujah! It's still morning. He was indicating them on the floor with their fans. Oh, praise the Lord. And they began to depart. There's a rule. Say there's a rule. There's a rule of the excellent place. The rule of the excellent place 
is what we must engage daily in our lives. You see, don't engage without rules when you are pushed to the wall. Engage without rules daily in your life. Daily in your life. For some of us, prayer is work. Prayer is work. Praying is work. You know, prayer. For me, prayer is not work. Oh. I can sit in my car and start praying. Kabbalah. Even, you see, some of you say, but some of us, we are in the office. You don't understand. When I was working on my desk, I've been praying. Kabbalah, Sutua, Kabbalah. Lazy to Kanda. I just pray. Engage. Okay. Engage. Engage. In Psalm 119, verse 14. Put it down for me. 18 and 14. Psalm 119. Psalm 119. 18 and 14. 8. 13. 13 first. 13. Thank you. With my Lips, I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. All the judgments, all the rules, all the things you have established. He says, with my lips, I have, en- I have declared, I have engaged in, or I have engaged with. With my lips, I have declared all, say all. All the judgment of your mouth. All the ju- in prayer, they are the judgment of God's mouth. What God has established, what God has set in place. Yeah, He's declaring the judgment. You know, He said the judgment of your mouth. What you have established concerning the excellent, excellent place with my lips, I declare, I engage with that. I declare my children will be excellent. My children will do well. You know, my children will do well. My children will do well. With my lips, I engage. Look, at times, I have come to a conclusion that at times, children of God, because we don't, we don't understand the rules of our dwelling place, the enemy, you know, you know, get us in tight corners. He does things and we wonder, why would God allow the enemy? Why would God allow the enemy to do what he's doing? Why would God allow that? It's because we don't understand what is more important. We don't engage with the rules of our dwelling place. So he say, with my lips I have declared all the judgment of your mouth. I have rejoiced rejoiced in in the way of your testimony. In the way of your testimony, in the rules. I rejoice. I rejoice in the way of your testimony. As much as in all riches. riches. As much as. So he says that, yeah, all the riches. You you want to prosper. You want divine health. You want divine peace. Oh, don't have witnesses here this morning. You want to have divine prosperity. You want to see promotion. You are rejoicing. Eh? Yeah, promotion, you come. You go and come say, praise the Lord. And, you know, rejoice. You know, it's fun. It's great. But it says that what is of essence is the, is the, is the testimonies. What God has established. The rules. Is somebody got to me? He said, I have rejoiced in the way of your testimony. He said, the way, how to get to the testimony, the way of your testimony, the rules, the established rules. He said, I rejoice. How many of us rejoice in established rules? We don't. We don't. He said, intercede for each other. You don't rejoice. Hey, tell you the thing, hard though. You don't rejoice. You don't, you don't know what bet or what will bet their riches. So you need to rejoice in the way of his testimony as much as you rejoice in the, in the riches. On Thursday, I was sharing with those who joined me to pray for fruitfulness. And I was sharing from Acts chapter 12. In the book of Acts chapter 12, the Bible says that Herod, and let's take Herod there, let's use Satan. Because Satan entered him. And the Bible says, Herod stretched forth his hands 
to harass some from the church. Because at times the devil stretched forth his hand to harass some for the church. He stretched forth his hand. Because he saw that the church was not engaging with the rules of their dwelling. They were not engaging with the rules of their dwelling. And this morning I'm here to encourage you to begin to engage. As a church you must engage with the rules of our dwelling. The church was not. In years past when Lady was Lady and Abbott were pregnant with Asha. Yeah, Asha. And uh, one time the doctor said, Asha is coming. Asha is coming. No one said, Waba. You know, it's coming. It was like six months or something. Five years, something. Yes. And the doctor said, Asha was coming. You know, the baby is coming. So they're trying to do something so that, what's it called? The cervix. Cervix will, will be there. And I remember I was called. And so I sent a message on the platform that by 12, 12 a.m. and 12 a.m. and p.m. a.m. No, no, no. 12 afternoon is it p.m. 12 1 is p.m. 12 is a.m. It's a Mara. Amen. So 12 p.m. 12 p.m. I put it up that by 12 years, those who are working, no lunch. 12, no lunch. They are engaging in prayer. Everybody. Those who were with me, because I got to a place, I said, as many who can join us, join me, and I came here, and people came around. So by 12, we began to intercede that the civics will go back. It will be okay. We prayed an hour. So your break time, we are praying. We are praying for you are praying for your sister eh? and your brother. You are praying. And when we prayed, the service went back. The doctors even said that normally it doesn't, it doesn't go back. It goes west. Are you getting me? But it went back. It doesn't happen. It's because we engage. But the point is we were late. You know why we're late? Because we're supposed to engage by the leading of God. We are supposed to engage. 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 You see, when you engage with the rules, you overwhelm weaknesses. Even your weakness is there. Your weakness is loud, but the weak, your weakness does not have a voice. Oh, somebody is not getting it. Your, your weakness does not have a voice. You see, there is a realm where your weakness doesn't have a voice. Your unbelief does not have a voice. You express unbelief, but it doesn't have a voice. Have you ever had a dream where somebody is chasing you, you are shouting, but nobody could hear you? You are, sh- you are shouting, help! <laughs> How many of us have had this kind of dream before? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see, you are shouting, but you don't have a voice. Because there is a rule over you. The atmosphere has taken over. So your shouting is, they say shout. It's a just shout. Nobody can hear you. You are wasting your time. So there is a place where your weaknesses, and I'm not saying be weak, but you see, you grow. Say you grow. You grow out of those weaknesses. You will grow. The more you grow, the more the weaknesses, you know, disappears. You know, the more they become irrelevant because you grow out of them. But you see, when you are engaging with the rules, even the weaknesses, hmm, the weaknesses don't have a voice. They don't have a voice. So in Acts chapter 12, Bible says, now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to arrest some from the church. Verse 2, then he killed James, then he killed James the brother of John. John. He killed him. He killed him. He killed him. A villain. A kunu. In a way, what do you say? I know ku, but I don't know the sentence to ku. A we. A we. He says, then he 
killed. Who killed? Herod. Where was God? Where was God? Where was God? Where was... At times, some people, they are sacrificed for us to understand how to engage with the rules of our dwelling. He was killed with a sword. With a sword. Then when he saw that it pleased, and because he and saw because that he it pleased, saw, mm -hmm. and because he saw that it pleased the Jews, yeah. he proceeded further to seize Peter. Also. So he seized Peter. He saw that, ah, uh, there we are here. You see, the devil attacks your brother. It comes because you are not engaging with the rule. It comes and he succeeds and he says, No, I can do more. I can do one again. I can get a testimony for myself. So when, he, and because he saw that it pleased the Jew, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread. Yeah, it was even a celebration. He sees him. And when he sees him, he actually made his situation worse. He, he, he made his situation hopeless. Hopeless. You see, when you engage with the rules, I was telling them, when you engage with the rules of your dwelling, there's no hopeless situation. You see, because you are ahead of the hopeless situation. Hopeless situations, eh, you know, hopeless situation makes clear our weaknesses. It, it, it amplifies our, weakness, our weaknesses. When you are in a hopeless situation, that's why we see whether you have faith. Eh? Whether we see whether you are patient. Eh? The last time when they quench our lights, <laughs> it was a hopeless situation. The weather was hot. Around 11 to 12, they quenched the thing like that. I was tired. I was tired. Then my wife came. You know, when they quench like that, I, I, it provokes me. It provokes me. If you talk about the government, I know my emotion can fail me at that moment. So I don't, I don't talk a lot. And I was sleeping around 12. My wife came to, she woke me and she said, should we go and put on the generator? The point is the man was tired. So waking up to go and put the generator. So she woke me and said, should we put on the generator? I didn't say anything. I just, I, I, I was putting generator. Waking, so I just walk opened the drawer, took an handkerchief, came and lay down, put the handkerchief. So I sleep when I sweat. I clean. Then I put it there. Like, you know, the situation was, at least, let me calm down. Because the moment I will step out to put on the generator, sleeping again, become, and for me that time, if I'm sleeping, you wake me up to take me around two hours. Hallelujah. So, hopeless situations, you know, it, it, it amplifies the weaknesses in you. But when you engage with the rules, when you engage with the rules, those weaknesses, they don't have a voice. They can't have a voice. So, understand that the devil will always create hopeless situations. He always, but when we engage with the rules, when we engage with the rules, we counter him. Before you even trying to create the hopeless situation, we've dealt with it. And that's why it is important when Kizito was sharing and was sharing with passion. Wake up and pray. You know, your bed. <laughs> you know how Kizito put it. It provokes you. So when you provoke those who are not prayerful like this, I know. Say, ah, oh, this guy, why? Life is not all about prayer. <laughs> I say, you don't understand. At times, you know, at times when people talk about midnight cry and everything, midnight prayer and everything, and I hear that man of God say, look, you have to sleep because, you know, your health and I look at them and I say, these people, allow them to do their midnight cry. What? Are they eating your food? No, you don't know what that creates. There's a time, there's a period. There's a period. Some of us we pray, we pray. I remember one day my, my head. 
So I know, I know that my body is saying that it's okay. That it's not okay. Wake up midnight, you are praying. And you see, when you pray midnight, you even pray midnight and you wake up, you are more fresher. You are fresher than somebody slept seven hours. I'm telling you, if you really prayed. But today I'm not talking about that. Hallelujah. I'm talking about, I'm showing you the bigger picture. Let's engage as a church. Let's engage the rules of the excellent place. Let's engage. So verse 4 says, So when he has arrested him, he put him in prison. Number one, he put him where? In prison. So four corners. Four corners. He put him in prison. And delivered him to four squads of soldiers. To Not keep him. only that, and delivered him to four squads, squads of, uh -huh, soldiers. of soldiers. So imagine he put him in prison and did not just leave him there. Then he put four squads of soldiers. So how many soldiers? Oh, how many? Four squads of soldiers. Uh, how many? Four soldiers. Fourteen, yes. So let's say fourteen soldiers, because it must make a situation hopeless. hopeless. Are you with me? It must make a situation. And some of us, we are in situation we feel is so hopeless. This marriage is no good. It's hopeless. You see, the devil is good at that. He makes the situation look hopeless. It's hopeless. The doctor say, "Well, wow, that's the best we can do." You know, it's hopeless. You know, the, 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 the economy is so bad, it is hopeless. You, you will not be able to feel. The devil always has to show you a hopeless situation. So, he says that he, he delivered him to four squads, squads of, of soldiers to keep him. Intending to bring him out before the people after Passover. Verse 5. Peter was therefore kept in prison. Uh -huh. But constant prayer was ah, offered to God for him. That is a place. That is the word. Right. It says, Peter was therefore put in prison. But, big U10. But, big U10. But, there was an engagement. They were engaging the rules of their dwelling. Even though late by it was an engagement. You see, this is written so that we can be excellent. So when I call for prayer meeting and I start doing it, lunch time, I said today, what did breakfast say? Yeah? No lunch for you. Lunch time. Prayer. And we are interceding towards this. Don't tell me eh, you should have alerted me at least. I have to dream my drugs. Oh, they are consuming drugs. You know, some people, because of fasting, they will take mercy. Yeah, they will, they will, they will say, no, they are so, they don't have any issue. They will say, mm, the way they feel, no. It look like, please, you are, you are here, let me see by hand. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, they will take mercy. I'm telling you, they will take money so that they, have, they, will, they will eat for nothing. They will take paracetamol to not hurt them so they can eat. Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, Bible says that, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the, the by the church. Constant, constant, constant. They wake up, they come. So I was telling the people come to Thursday prayer. I said, I'm not a fool. I'm not a... At times I see some of them, they come. The film I see on their faces, they come. It's like, God, we have been praying. I will, Thursday, I'm fasting or I'll do like four. I will not break. I'll go and play soccer because that's the time I have to exercise. And you see me with sweat. I'll not go home or I'll come here. They'll bring my supper to me here and i'll be people here and we'll pray a little hours i finish i eat my supper before going home i'm not a fool 
And, and some of you, I know about your situation. No, no. But I also know about the rules. I know about the rules. And I believe I was even late. And now, I said, some of you, when you receive it, we will not see you again, but you see me coming here. Until God says, okay, focus on something else. Is somebody getting me? Constant prayer. So imagine if the church understood this rule and engaged and prayed for their leaders constantly. For nothing, we can't even pray 30 minutes. Are you getting me? Let's pray constant. It's not like they are going through. Somebody say, Are they? I'm not sure we are saying. What, what is happening? You are always praying. No, no. You are engaging. You are talking to your father. Father, we are here to accomplish purpose. We want to understand the, the strategies of the purpose. Father, we want to understand if we are making impacts. We, we, want to, we want to engage as you are praying and God begins to unveil things to us strategies to us things you should be doing step that must be taken are you getting me you are not engaging the devil you are engaging your father by the rules he has set in place but when we allow the enemy or when you don't engage the rules and the enemy steps in now you have to push him away before advancing with the strategies oh praise the lord Lift your hands. Say, I will engage the rules. Say, I will engage the rules of the excellent place. Say, my dwelling. And when Herod was about to bring him out, that night Peter mm -hmm. was sleeping. That wow. night, so constant prayer. Constant, remember this. Constant, 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 constant prayer. They were just praying. They were praying. They were praying. They were engaging the rules of their dwelling. And I told you, when you engage the rules of your dwelling, it overwhelms your weakness. Constant prayer. They were just praying. Constant prayer. It was not perfect, but it started. So Bible says, and when Herod was about to bring him out that, that night, uh -huh, Peter was sleeping, uh -huh. bound with two chains. Peter was sleeping, so he gives us details. These details are not for nothing. Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains. Two chains one year and two. one year. Two chains or year. I don't know. Those days they put them here. Because it's running that matters. <laughs> are you getting me? Yeah, now we put it there. But those days, when they see you are a criminal, they put some here, put some here. So that, don't you any cry. <laughs> you know, you know. Even this one cry, if it's there, some people even use that cough to run. Yes. So, Bible says, they put two chains. Between two soldiers. Between two soldiers. So, there are already 14 soldiers in charge. So, two, 56, oh, Jesus. 14 times 4. 14 times 4. Yeah, 14. Thank you. 14 times 4. So, 56. It makes your situation look so worse. Like the, you will not escape. This thing needs to not work. Why don't you give up? This is too difficult. You see, that is an engagement. This is difficult. This is impossible. This one, there's nothing. There's no hope. And he starts giving you alternatives. And those alternatives, it points towards him. It points towards your weaknesses. Let's forget about God. God can do it. Oh, or he will tell you that, oh, God can do it through this thing. Because it's hopeless. And you hear those voices. May you not hear those voices. Hallelujah. So, uh, uh, and when Herod was about to bring him out that night, Peter was sleeping, uh -huh. bound with two chains mm -hmm. between two soldiers, uh -huh. and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. So, you see, they were guards also. They were those soldiers, they were keeping the place. They were keeping the place. Hallelujah. Then the angel of the Lord. Now, behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him. He says, Now, behold, now see. An angel stood. How did the angel get there? 
You see, this tells you that God could have dealt with the situation of James. God could have dealt with it with so much ease. But God is his principles. I was talking to the young man the last time. And I said, the challenge I see in Christianity is that we have not come to a place of realization. In Christianity, you must realize. You must come to know. Are you getting me? You must come to know. And that is why if I'm preaching and it just excites you, I have a problem. Because I know I can preach a message. It takes maybe a year before somebody will understand. It's not new because that's what Jesus, Jesus will preach and the disciple will go to him and say, we don't understand this thing that you, you spoke about. Then Jesus said, are you also without understanding? And he will explain. In fact, in some of the messages Jesus preached, the Bible said it is when he died and he came back that day and understood. Because the messages is supposed to bring them to a place where they, they come to appreciate things in a better way. Is somebody getting me? Some of us are seated here and in your mind, I can never, me, that's how I am. I can never stop that. This is my weakness. It's because you have not come to realize that this is so weak. But when you come to the place of realization, you're like, oh, wow. Hey, look at the way I was behaving. I never felt I could act this way. Did I have a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. So, Bible says, Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him. And the light shone in the prison. And the light shone in, in the, the prison. prison. Uh -huh. And he struck Peter on the side. So, he just struck Peter. Take note of that. So the scripture says, he strike Peter on the side and raised and, him up. And raised him up. Saying, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. And the chain fell off his hands. Not his foot. His hands. So and the chains fell off. So the chain fell off. Okay, go ahead. Then the angel said to him, uh -huh. Get yourself and uh -huh. tie on your sandals. Yes, put yourself to together. Because the guy just woke up. Put yourself to undress. The angel was talking to him, oh, take note. Was talking to him, oh. I believe Peter was lying there also praying. Boami, oh, boami. He was praying. And he said, put, put yourself together, Peter. An angel, an angel, just an angel. Because people were praying constantly. Constant prayer. Constant prayer constant prayer. It takes care of whatever the enemy may plan. Constant prayer. It suppresses your weaknesses. It ensures that your weaknesses don't have a voice. Eh? The arrows that has, must, must depart from you. Th those things that you've eaten and they are in you. You have accepted. They will not have a voice. When you engage with the rules. Go ahead. Put on, and he said to him, Put uh -huh. on your garment uh -huh. and follow me. And follow me. So he, so he went out and followed him. And followed him. And so he was following the Indian. Uh -huh. And what was done by the angel was real. So he thought he was still he he was experiencing a what? A vision. He felt because when constant prayer is taking place, when you engage the rules of your dwelling, things will happen and you may not even know that it is real. This happened. This happened. This happened. Certain things will happen in your life. You've, you've received that promotion. You're like, hmm. Is it me? Uh, you know, you'll be walking and saying, no, me, no, no. You'll be pinching yourself. Like, let me pinch yourself. Uh, you know, let me, let me, let me pinch myself. So, he did not even know that that was what? Real. But thought it was a vision. He thought he was seeing a vision. He thought it was a vision. He thought it was a vision. That's how powerful engaging the rules of your dwelling is. Just a vision. So as we come here on Thursday, thank you. As we came, you come every Thursday and pray, and pray, and pray. That's how things will take place. Because God is the same yesterday. That's it. 
When it happens, some of you ask or say, hey, how oh, wow. Some of you, when you hear the testimony, and when you, you hear about the chains, and when you hear about the 56 soldiers, you know, the kind of prison the people find themselves in, when you hear you say, hey, can we go and find out again if the thing, the, what even was said was even real? Because engaging is critical. Engaging the rules. And I said this morning, I'm just talking about one rule. Praise the Lord. Verse 10. And when they came past the first and second guard posts, yeah. they came to the iron gates that leads to the city. So you when can see how hopeless. So he said, when they went past the first, number one, the second, second two, uh -huh. they came to the iron gates. So gate. the third one was iron gates. There was iron gates. Go ahead, that please. leads to the city, mm -hmm. which opened to them of its own accord. So it's open because you see, normally the prisons are in the palace. The prisons are in the palace. So you are out of the prison, you are not out of the palace yet. And so the, the iron gate opened to them of its own accord. Open to them of its own accord. Like the palace, the iron gate just opened. Just opened. Because of constant prayer. Because of engaging the... Because in the kingdom where we are in excellent place, where we are, if me, I am okay, I am fine, but Zina is not fine, I'm not fine. No, that, that's how it works. I am fine, her peace, Tina is not fine. I'm not able, my wife would say, I'm not able to take people's matter off my mind. It consumes me. When I know somebody's going, I, I can't take it off. Even when I'm driving, I'm pondering. I'm so, because I'm not fine. I'm not fine. Is somebody getting me? I'm not fine. So I, I intercede for her. Because that's the rules. So I have to engage. I have to engage the rules. Oh, praise the Lord. She's having fun. <laughs> I have to engage the rules of my, of my dwelling. And I need to engage that daily. Daily. I must not wait for her to be going through something. I should be doing it. Because God will be laying people on your heart. And for some of us, when God lay people on your heart, intercede for these people and say, Nya mimi kwa mi wasembe pri. Mi wasembe, sami kaka, na mi pente, whatever. You see, obe bwa ni hupe. So, as the Lord is telling you, intercede for Obed. As you are praying, the Lord just lay Obed. Obed, you can hear Obed. 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 You say, Obed, go out. I have a dream. Why is Obed? <laughs> say, Father, my marriage, oh, my marriage, oh. You see, you are not engaging with the, with the rules of your place. Excellent place. You don't know whether Obed is going through something. And you don't have to know. You don't have to know in your mind. Your spirit tells you that just pray for Obed. Because there's something excellent I'm doing in the life of Obed. And the scripture says, He water with himself be watered. So just engage. Just engage. Lift your right hand and say, Help me, O Lord. Just engage. And we have not been doing that. We are not doing it. We are not. If you didn't make a mistake and pray for you, small cry. The last time I pray for you, I... it means that after this one, they will not pray for you for. And so you should be thanking your God. No. Now I've been pray I've been praying for you. And even, especially if the person step on your toes small. And this person, I've been praying for this person. I've been praying for child. Don't even pray. It's okay. No, you don't understand the rules. Are you getting me? Understand the rules. 
Eh, eh, he's, he's fighting me. Does he even know how I've been praying for him? You know how I've been praying for him? You don't understand. Some of us, people will insult us. God will wake us up one day and pray for him. We wake up and pray. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. There are many people who they've told they should delete my number, cancel me, or whatever. God will speak to me. I'll call them. Me, I'll call you. I've never deleted somebody's number before. If I don't have your number, then my phone, uh, my memory, whatever it's called, cannot support it. I have the last time I realized that I even have dead men number. Yeah, I was I was going through my book and I saw ah oh, this person is dead. Why is it there? So I said dead man. But somebody has that number. Why should I delete? Send me call me. Maybe the doctor has the number. Yeah. So I didn't delete it. Because in my mind, somebody will call me with that number. Is somebody getting me? Yes. I don't delete. If you insult me, I'll never delete your number. If you leave the church, I'll never delete. On the our church platform, there are people I've let. They are there. We don't delete. Oh, no delete. Be there. Whatever we share, no. We only delete if it's a leadership. Because then it's called privilege information. You get it. So we delete you. But whatever we share so people say oh this thing happened I say I know you are on the platform if you delete yourself that is yourself me I'll never delete you I, I never oh have I told any of you to delete somebody before no 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 you only delete the one who is on the leadership because are you getting me it's all about the work are you getting me yes so why are you there but church, nobody will delete you. Be there. Amen. So when he went past the first and the second guards post, they came to, they came to the, the iron gate. Uh -huh. to the city, yeah. Which opened to them of its own accord. Yeah. And they went out and went down one street. Mm -hmm. And immediately the angel departed. And immediately the angel departed. The angel in Psalm 103 verse 20 says that angels of the Lord, they are doers of his word. They are doers of his word. That's, that's principle. That rules. They are doers of those rules. They excel in strength doing their the bidding, the word of God. Angels just come to do the word. Because somebody activated that word. Somebody engaged with that rules. They came to do the rules. And he departed. Verse 12. And when, verse 12. Verse 11, sorry. And when Peter had come to himself, mm -hmm. he said, mm -hmm. Now I know for certain mm -hmm. that the Lord has sent his angel. Okay, 12. Has, so, so when he had considered this, mm -hmm. he came to the house of Mary, mm -hmm. the mother of John, mm -hmm. whose surname was Mark, yeah. where they were gathered together praying. Mm -hmm. And as Peter knocked on the door of the yeah. gate, yeah. a girl named Rhoda came to answer. Yeah. When she recognized Peter's voice, mm -hmm. because of her gladness, mm -hmm. she did not open the gate, yeah. but ran in and announced that Peter stood before the gate. Mm -hmm. But they said to her, mm -hmm. you are beside yourself. Yeah, you are mad. You've yes. lost your brain. Now, these are people who were praying. So what was their expectation? No, no. When, when, they, when they look at the situation, the 56 soldiers, the prison, the, what happened to John, they say, we are praying. But at this point, you see, they were weak. They were weak. And their hopeless situation amplifies their, their weakness. Their, their, their weaknesses, you know, was loud. It was very loud. So when Rhoda, who was excited, Peter is here, and they said, oh, Bishop Peter is here, or brother Peter is here. I believe they were calling brother Peter. I should call him brother Moses. Brother Peter is here, and they say, look, you you, you've, you've, you've lost your brain. You are beside yourself. You are going mad. You know, you are going mad. I'm sure you've seen his angel. When he talks about his angel, he's talking about his ghost. Because the scripture says that all of us, when we die, will become like angels. 
So they, you see, then they were correct. They don't say it's ghost. They say it's angel. Because when you go to heaven, we all become like angels. So they say, I'm, sh- I'm sure, we are sure it is his angel. In other words, they didn't expect him to be liberated. But where will God liberate him? It's because they were in line with their rules, not their faith. It's a higher dimension. Not their faith. The rules. The rules of engagement. Not their faith. It was not their faith. Oh, I can faith in Kwanka. Capita, you will rot. If it was only faith. So when you engage with rules, it overwhelms weaknesses. You see, the excellent place, it has rules. It has rules. So engage with the rules. You get it. It engage with the rules. When I come to church at times, when we are doing fasting, God will say, today give me 150 cities as an offering. Hey, Jesus, 40, 40 days, about 20 days, quite about 150 calculation. When I do the calculation, I say, hey, Jesus, but I'll do that. You see me doing it. You know, if you don't see me, see, I open my wallet. 150, 150, 150. You know, I'm engaging with the, with the rules. Yeah. The last time it happened, I was driving and a lady called me. Say, Brother Moses, how are you? Say, I've arranged something small for you. I said, Okay. I, I heard no ping, 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 4,000. Oh, wow. That's not good. That's not bad. That's not bad. Amen. Engage. Engage. I, the, if anybody is here and I've called you, come and sow seed. God says you come and sow seed. Tell me I will give back your money to you. I will gladly give back your money. This is not the first time I've said it to on I will tell you. I have said it to people. I will give back your money to you. The day God asks me to tell you, I will tell you. The rest are short. If God says you should give me all your money, I will tell you. <laughs> are you getting it? But that's you know, because I have bills to pay, I know how to fast. My wife can fast. My children, they can fast and pray. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. But you see, learn how to engage with the rules of your, of your dwelling, of the excellent place. Their rules. Their rules. When you engage with their rules, it overwhelms their weaknesses, it overwhelms their fears. It, it overwhelmed their hopelessness. It overwhelmed everything that was in them. It overwhelmed. So when God moved in the life of somebody who engaged the rules, you'll be like, ah, this person, what does he know? What does he do? No, he's operating at a dimension. You now, you are operating at a place. You are in a weak place. So they told her that she was beside herself yet she kept insisting that it was so they said it is his angel it is his ghost it is his angel now peter continued knocking so peter who has been set free was in prison (laughs) yeah he was because he needed to come home but he was he was outside, he was behind the door. So he was in prison. It tells you how powerful engaging our rules. So he knocked and he knocked and he knocked. So Peter continued to knock, and when they opened the door, they saw him. Uh-huh. They were astonished. They were astonished. They were shocked. Hey, they were shocked. They saw him. Oh, that if I seek his it, how can I be astonished? I've been praying continually or continuously. I've been praying. I've been praying. I wake up every morning. Hey, God, set him free. Oh, 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 but when they saw him, they were like, <laughs> they were astonished. They were shocked. I'm sure they started pinching themselves. Maybe it's not Peter. Oh. Is it not a dream? 
Obinyani Mio said, I am you know, they were astonished. And that's why it is critical. So the first rule, or the rule I'm sharing with you this morning, is to engage in prayer. Is to engage in prayer. Don't pray because there's an issue. Don't pray because there's an emergency. Don't pray because there's a problem. By all means, we will pray because there's an emergency. But I'm saying that don't start praying because there's an emergency. You'll be anxious. You'll be, you, you, you even say it's, it's, it, is, it, is, it is a lie, the testimony you are expecting. When you engage with your rules, when you engage with your, it overwhelms, you know, your weaknesses, the voices of your weaknesses, it overwhelms. Because these are people who are saying that, well, we know that God can do it, but God has chosen not to do it. Amen. So we have accepted our faith. But they were praying. May the Lord help us. Why oh, say may the Lord help us? May the Lord help us engage with our rules, with the rules of our dwelling place. Hallelujah. Mommy, continue. We are in verse but, but motioning to them with his hand yeah. to keep silent. He said, he Peter said, shh, 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 shh. Don't, don't, shh. You know that thing? His heart was still beating. You know that thing that you have escaped narrowly. This one is not narrowly. This is broadly. You have escaped broadly. And when you got there, people, I'm sure they were astonished. Some of them were, Rhoda, I'm sure Rhoda was shouting. She was shouting. Peter said, she motioned, he motioned with his hands. And yet they did. have a cheer. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Your, your, your rules are above everything the devil can do. It's bigger than anything. Your rules is bigger than anything. It silenced the enemy. I shared the testimony of Joyce that when I told her that somebody will bring her three dresses and the person will say, I told her that if you wait, if you wait, if you wait, you develop a cancer. Number two, two say. Something like this happened to a woman in UK. A rough said. Somebody brought it. I don't want to mention and he said, oh, your birthday or so good. Work in a bank. Brought it to say she wear it. She said, oh, I'll wear it later. He said, no, he insisted. Wear it or share it on that day. In fact, even white goalie were saying, now, why? This woman, she has a wrong energy, a normal friend energy. We will see that these demons. She wore it that day. That was it. She was given three months to leave. By the grace of God, God touched her. You know, when we prayed. So I told her that, mm -mm, don't wear it. Too. Don't even keep it in your, in your room for a day. If you keep it, you start itching. So she brought it to me. As God said, three, pe -pe 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 she brought it to me. We dump it, you know, in a dustbin. We gave it to Zoom Lion. And less than three weeks, the person came in and said, you know, the one who gave me the cloth to give me made a mistake. So, because they know she did not use them. And I said, just chase me to Mokola when I was with my wife. Now, how am I going to retrieve? She even wanted to, me to escort her somewhere so she can buy three separate ones. I said, are you okay? If she was here, she would tell you. She was harassing me. I said, go home. This person will not do anything to you. Because the rules, you see, the, the leading of God have silenced that voice. Hallelujah. It has silenced. The person will not do anything to you. So Peter was afraid for nothing. So Peter 
motion with his them to, uh -huh. to keep silent. Mm -hmm. He declared to them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. Yeah. And he said, Go, tell these things to James and to the brethren. Yeah. And he departed and went to another place. He left, oh, he left to another place. He said, Better leave this place. Better leave this place. Did the angel say you should leave? No, did the angel tell him you should leave? What did the angel say? He said, just go. Just go, you are fine. Look, my point is when you are engaged with the rules of the excellent place, the enemy will be silent forever. The enemy will be silent forever. Hallelujah. Just give a clap offering unto the Lord.
enough angels to send and to liberate you. He has enough power. He has enough power, might. He has enough to keep you. But we must engage with the rules of our dwelling. Oh, you are the covenant. talk to him. I want you to say Father, I'm sorry Father, we are sorry for not engaging with the rules of our dwellings as expected. For not operating from the excellent place as expected. You know, for some of you said, I've been doing everything right. I have me, I've not been doing everything right. Me, I know I've not been doing everything right. I, I don't know about you, but I know because I know that there's more. There, there are rules that the Lord wants to reveal to me. There are things that God wants me to know that ensure that I am far ahead. That ensure that I, I am far, 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 far ahead of what the enemy can do. So you want to lift your voice and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Father, I'm sorry. I confess. I acknowledge the Lord I have not engaged with the rules of my dwelling as expected. Jesus engaged with the rules of his dwelling as expected. So even when the enemy thought he has him in difficult place, in the tight corner, Jesus will walk and the people will not be able to touch him. Because he engaged with the rules. When Jesus get to where the enemy, the enemy has in mind that he has occupied that place. If our demons will be will be shouting and acknowledging that he's the son of God. Demons, they acknowledge that the son of God has come. He's the son of God. The son of God. Even the wind, when the enemy trying to use a natural phenomenon to influence Christ even the wind will listen to him I, uh, just talk to the just talk to the father for some of you you are saying that oh lord I've been doing everything right I don't know what listen to the spirit you will know listen to the spirit there's a dimension of engagement that you are yet to attain. There's a dimension of engagement. There's a dimension you've not yet reached. And God, God wants to use you mightily. And so, He will open you to that dimension. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. We have come to draw, 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 draw from you again, again, again. We have come to draw. Again, again. I want you to personalize it. I have come to draw. Draw from you again, again. Oh, can you lift your two hands? I have come to draw. From you again, again, again. I have come to draw. Draw from you again. Love you again. 
Excellent place for some of us. The Lord wants you to engage Him at a certain level, but you have been you have been drawing back. You have been drawing back. He, he wants you to engage with Him at a dimension. He, he wants you to be ahead of anything that will happen. Possibly, the Lord wants you to be ahead ten years from now, twenty years from now, thirty years from now. You want to solve problems that are 30 years old. They are older than the people existing. You want to solve it through you. But you are not able to engage with him. You are not able to engage with him. Don't be like him. Is here. Don't be like him. When the Lord told him that look, Prepare, prepare, prepare your house because you are about to die. And he said, oh Lord, I've served you very, very well. The Lord gave him 15 more years. And during the 15 years, he did not even prepare. What was of essence, he did not engage. He did not engage in what was of essence. So the Lord came and he said, because of what you have done, your descendants are going to go in bondage. They are going to be slaves. He said, well, at least I thank you that it is not going to happen my time. He was a bad leader. He was a bad father. God wants to use you 
to solve problems for your children and for your children's children. You see, when you engage the rules of your dwelling, you solve problems of your children, children, children. Your children, children don't have to struggle in marriage. They will not struggle in business. They will not struggle in their finances. They will not struggle when it comes to health. No, 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 no. no. Because you are you are you have been assigned to be a pillar like Philadelphia in Revelation chapter 3. God says, I will make you a pillar in my house. A pillar. You have been assigned to be a pillar in the house of God. That many people stand through you because you have engaged the rules of your dwelling. Just bless the name of the Lord as you lay hands. Bless him for the privilege to be used by him. The privilege to be used by him. The privilege to be used by him. I am to lanti apa. Mantali mi no so pe. Metuli ni akabi. Meke no suti li apa. Meke ni li mi oso kapi. Reke do suti li apa. Mantuli to li me no so pe. Makandele mesopi, resonto ali minkapi, kala meno le mesoti ya, makadu si ato kapi. I see people here. I see marriages. I see marriages. I see marriages here. Amen. Look, your marriage will be very excellent. I'm I'm adding very. Your marriage will be excellent. Oh, I, I, I say your marriage will be excellent. It will not be said of you that this marriage also is 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 a is a is a reference point of fear. Your marriage will not be a reference point of fear. Your marriage be, will be a, res, a, a reference point of joy, of assurance, of security. Oh, hallelujah. You will flourish in your marriage. So I see somebody flourishing in your marriage. I hear the Lord say, I should tell you that fear not. You see, when you marry, everything will be falling in place. Everything will be falling in place. The lines will be falling unto you in pleasant places. In the name of Jesus. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. Hallelujah. Oh, celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 